Okay, this is section 2.2, .2, examples part one. So the first example states, find the slope of the tangent line to y equals x to the two thirds at the point eight four. And now that we're in section 2.2, .2, we are allowed to use those shortcuts. So the first thing I wanna do is find the derivative of y. That means I need to take d dx of x to the two thirds. And using my power rule, um, theorem 3.3, I'm gonna follow that proper that uh, rule. It says bring your power down and then decrease the power by one. So I end up with getting two thirds and x to the negative one third. Okay, so that's the derivative of my function. Now if I wanna find the slope of the tangent line at this specific point, then I need to go ahead and plug in that x value. So I'm going to have 2 thirds, 8 to the negative 1 third. And that you should be able to type in your calculator. Let's see what we get here. So we have um, 2, 2 over 3 times 8 raised to the negative 1 third. Let me turn that into fraction, but it just comes out to equal one third all by itself. Now example two states, find the slope of the tangent line to y equals x to the negative five power at the point one one. So again, same thing. I wanna take the derivative of that equation, which means I will have to take the derivative of x to the negative five. Now, I'm gonna follow the theorem 3.3 again. Bring down my power, and then decrease the power by one, which means I get negative five x to the negative six. If I want the slope of the tangent line at one one, then that means I need to plug in that x value. So I end up with negative five, one raised to the negative six, and it's just negative five. Now example three says, use the rules of differentiation to find the derivative of the following functions. So I've got three parts here. So here, this is a constant, and we know from theorem 3.2 that the derivative of any constant is going to be zero. For part B, if I take the derivative of this, that means I will be taking the derivative of the fourth root of x. However, I can convert that into its exponential form, which is one fourth. And then I can follow the power rule. And that is that you bring down the power and then you decrease the power by one. So I get one fourth x to the negative three fourths. And that is the derivative of this function. Okay, last part, I'm gonna be using theorem 3.5, which allows me to take the derivative of each term individually. And I'm also going to be using um, Theorem 3.4, the constant multiplier, since I have a constant 3 here multiplied by x squared, and I have a constant negative 7 here multiplied by x. And of course, I'm also going to use the power rule for x squared and x. So I'm going to take the derivative, and then I'm going to take the derivative of this side. So on this side, I have 3 times two x to the one. So I brought down my two and I took one away. Two minus one is one. My constant multiplier, this is a power of one. So bring down the one and then if I decrease one by one, I get zero. And the derivative of any constant is zero according to theorem 3.2. So if I multiply this out, I get six x x to the zero is just one. So I have negative seven times one times one, which is just negative seven. And this 
constant, um, the derivative was zero, I don't need to write plus zero here. So this is the derivative I get there. 